All right, guys. Wow. You are welcome once again. Okay, so uh, today I'll be starting a new series on the... You're welcome to this new series on how to be profitable, you know, trader or investor, as the case might be. <clears throat> All right, so today's um, tutorial will be delving into how to trade Forex and crypto markets with confidence, how to, you know, take your trading to the next level. Over the years, you know, I've been trading cryptocurrencies and Forex, and I've discovered something that a lot of traders, a lot of guys are reacting to the market. And that's why we're trying to, you know, help a lot of people out there to teach them how they can take advantage of what the market is doing. All right. So, in, in today's class, I just want us to, like, focus on, before I go into the chat to explain to you, you know, what is going on and how you, maybe as a new trader or, or intermediate, whatever you are, how you can take advantage of the markets for good. Because everybody out there is looking for something. They want to make money. You know, we, 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 we learned that if you want to make money, you buy low, for instance, you buy low and you sell high. But in reality, you buy here and you sell. In reality, many people are doing the opposite of it. Many guys are doing the opposite of this. So, and that is why we want to help you to position yourself on how to be profitable. Now, I want you to ask yourself this first question. How does the market move? How does any market move? Look at this market. This is uh, the, the British pound, Japanese yen. How does the market move? Be it stock market, be it cryptocurrency market. How does the market, what makes the market to move? How does it move? Now, a lot of factors can be responsible for this, you know, but I just want us to focus on one angle, which I've been dealing with. That is the technical side of it, you know. Uh, there are some guys, the news media might tell you that because maybe <clears throat> Mr. Trump says one thing or the China coronavirus or thereabouts, <clears throat> all these things are things that can affect the market. But actually, they are not the, before those things happen, it's, the chart must have shown us that, hey, a pull down is coming. So every market moves in waves. I want this thing to sink. Every market moves in waves. Every market moves in waves. Be it cryptocurrency, be it forex, be it stock market, be it index, be it whatever. Futures, every market moves in waves, okay? So it is these waves that guys are taking advantage of when it's at the 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 lowest legion you buy when at the higher legion you sell you see so these are the ways the markets move so for you to be a, a profitable or uh, investor you must be able to understand the wave structure of the market aside the wave structure of the market any other thing you're trying to do to the market is being reacting to the movements because you don't know what they have done in the past. You're just reacting to what they are doing at the present. And believe you me, it can be it can be confusing at the time. Maybe based on the current situation, you just look at the market. Maybe it's, it's crossing uh, three moving averages, you know, 50 MA or 20 MA moving averages. You might decide to buy or sell. And these are just being, you are reacting to the market. You don't know what they have done in the past. So, but when you look at the wave structure and you're able to identify what the market have done in the past, then you'll be able to take advantage because you know where the market is going. Now, before I show you the structure that makes the wave to be complete, I want to understand that wave 
structure or wave market determines the framework determines the framework of, and of the history, the history of the market, the current information of the market, and also gives you, uh, you know, a peak of the future. So the wave structure of the market tells you three things: the history, what they have, what have happened in the past, the current situation of the market, and if you can able to identify, interpret the history to the current, then you're able to know what the future holds, okay? So with that, you can take a, a bold step. You can position yourself at a certain level that, hey, once it hits this place, then you're able to take the next step. All right, so now, I want you to look at this chart. Every market moves this time time axis, and this is price. Okay, this is price, and this is time. So now, every market moves like this. If I should ask you now, which of them is more important? Is it the, 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 the price, which is where you make the money, you know, when you gain the value, or the time? Now, I believe 99% will tell me, hey, you know, everybody's waiting for the price to move. But the money is in the time. <laughs> Why? If you can time the market or know when the market is completing, for instance, this wave, then you, you catch on with this. If you can time this, you catch up with this. If you can time this, you catch up with this. So, what everyone should be focusing more on is not the price, but understanding the time. And that is what I want, to, I want us to delve into today to show you how the markets move, what makes the market to move. Not the news, not the media, but the structure, the wave of the market. How you can interpret this into reality then, and if you take the right position, then that can interpret into money. Okay, so understanding the time, and the time is made up of the corrective structures. Corrective structures, okay? The correction, let me just use the word correction here. Why this one is made of the impulses? The impulse. Impulse movements, according to trend. All right. The real money you are making here is from the impulse. That's where you make the fastest money. But if you cannot interpret the corrections, the money will not, you will take the wrong position. And believe you me, markets spend 80% of the time in this corrective stage and 20% of the time in this impulsive state. So you see, more time are being spent moving just nowhere, moving just nowhere. And to some who don't understand the way structure of the market, they give up easily. And you believe him before, when you give up, you see now discover that, hey, the markets actually move up or move down, a case might be. Now, there are things also you need to know that no matter the market you want to trade or you want to invest, there are things that make up a, a market movement. That is, Market moves, impulse, market makes correction, and market moves impulse. You see this? This is a, a complete structure of a market movement. Okay? So, this is how every market moves. It's a combination of these structure you see here that makes up the whole market, whether crypto, forex, index, whatever you are trading. is a combination of these. So in a simple form, every market makes an impulse, a correction, and an impulse. Okay? So if, for instance, you miss this first impulse, 
you miss this first impulse and everybody is, hey guys the market is moving and you did not panic and you were able to time this structure this this corrective structure here you were able to time this you were able to identify this then you will be glad to be part of this movement too because you'll be able to join and enjoy this ride so what makes up the market structure is the impulse, the, the correction, and the impulse. No market moves in straight line, okay? So it is the interpretation of this that you see a lot of guys trying to interpret this with, you know, the resistance, the support, the resistance, trend line, or what have you. But the simplest form for you to understand what is going on is when a market makes an impulse and make a correction and makes an impulse. Okay, so now, since I told you guys that the, the most important part of it is what happens here, what happens here, that is what you guys should be focusing more on, what happens here, not here, not here, not here, not here. This is where the professionals position themselves. This is where the professional position themselves. So everyone that wants to make money in the market must position themselves right here. Okay? So now, from the Elliott Wave structure, there are some um, corrective structures that you have identified. Okay? So I'm going to share with you some of the corrective structures that Elliott Wave identified that, you know, what you should be expecting with seen here because it's not easy okay it's not easy there's a lot of structures that are being formed here that if you don't know that you the market will, will leave you behind if you don't know that you will not likely take position in the market so the first one you should be able to identify in the market is what we call the the first one you know let's let's identify let's let's identify the structures the corrective structures from the Elliott wave you see the um the zigzag the zigzag okay this is zigzag let me label it a b c okay so the second one the second one is the the flats the flats the flats okay where the b the traces to mm -hmm. this is a b c okay now the third one here will be the <coughs> the running the running flats that will be a b c now the the last one here will be the expanding flats breaks the top breaks the bottom that will be a b c okay so this four uh, you know, um, structures are uh, the four corrective structures identified by uh, Elliot. Now we have the triangles, okay, but well, I won't go to triangle today. We have the diagonals, triangles and diagonals, but we won't, we won't cover that today. We'll cover that next time, okay? Mm -hmm. So, but I just wanted to focus on this because 80% um, of times, you know, markets either, you know, have these structures triangles are not often 
you see this more often okay you see most of this more often so if you understand this then at least you you you, you are both the edge you you can you can have a very good edge to to take ride of the market in you know in stand you know very good platform right so now this one is a zigzag now what's different is zigzag the it traces the first the first wave which is a now as it traces back the the b did not get to the points a it did not get to this you know the b did not get to this where the a starts from and the c most times has uh, the same length with a but one thing is guaranteed here the c must break must break must go below the a legion okay the difference here is this this is the flat the flat is a b c most times can be the same you know size length you know the same length or typically the same within the same region you know but here now which is the running the running means the a is bigger than the c a b breaks above this region y c did not retrace to a so it's running flat this is expanding flat y this breaks a and also breaks c the difference between the expanding and running is that c did not retrace below a now these are the uh the corrective structures you see most times in the market so ability for you to identify these structures in the market will give you an edge you know so that when you see some of this you'll be able to position yourself in the market you'll be able to take a, a decisive move of the market all right so now let's go to the market proper now let's go to the market proper so this lens so far and how we can apply it now looking at this uh we'll, we'll cover two markets we'll look at the two markets let's look at the forex and then we'll look at the crypto the bitcoin all right so um looking at this market this is the jpp J, uh, J, gpbp jpy okay. the pounds yen pound yen right great so now as i said before that every market moves in wave so the first thing okay note this that the first thing you should identify when you are looking at any market is the structure that the market is making the structure if you can't identify a recognized structure of that market you're not permitted to trade the market what structure is it making can you identify any any structure that you are familiar with that's why some of these uh so all all of these uh, structures that will just even beyond the triangles that we will cover now you should be able to you should be able to know them okay memorize them understand them know their characteristics know their rules know their fibonacci retracements so when you look at the market then the first thing you should identify you should look at what structure is this market making so once you're able to see those structure then you can trade the market because you know that will give you an edge right for instance let's look at look at the looking at this if, 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 if i look at this market there are many things i look at for instance this is an impulse okay this is an impulse this is what a b c this is a zigzag this is a zigzag a b c this is a zigzag here and it makes an impulse this is what this is a flat this is a flat okay and an impulse again you see so but all these are making what a b c you see that so this is an impulse it makes a corrective structure here you can see i've labeled it here this is what running running flat don't 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 worry because you know it might be hearing this for the first time it might not really sync i understand you know but just take it easy this is a b c this is a bigger one 
A, B, C. Now, when A, B, C is formed and you see another A, B, C, that is when you have W, X, Y. Okay? <laughs> you have W, X, Y. That is after forming A, B, C. And, you know, there are some times you see something like this. A market is descending. The market is descending. The market is descending. And you see as if the market wants to make a higher move. That the market wants to change direction. But the market did not actually change direction, but it continued to descend. Continue to descend. So what is it telling you? It's telling you that now, <laughs> I don't need to tell you guys this thing. It's, it's <laughs> what's... You know, you guys are very special to me, okay? It's very, very special to me. That's why I'm telling you this, because it's going to change your life. If you understand what I'm just saying now, it's going to change your life. It's going to change the way you see markets. It's going to change <laughs> your pocket <laughs> status. Okay, so anytime you see a higher, just like a higher move, but that is not going, that is not breaking the upper trend where it started, now... That shows you that the market is making a higher correction. That is what you see here. It's making a higher correction. So you still need to consider all this one as a wave, this one as a wave, and the next one as a wave. So all of them will still be what? A structure. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. It, you know, it will take time to sink, but this is actually how it is. So. For let's look at the current situation of this market. The current situation of this market. Remember what I said? What structure has it formed? Now, looking at this market, I will say, okay, this is this is what W X Y. Period. Is W X Y. So to me, this market has finished this. So it's about making either you want to make break or you still want to continue the higher complex collective structure but this this is a this is the weekly time frame okay so if i should, let's let's consider this move that's coming up here if i should consider this move here i will probably Put in this is a prop, this is ABC ABC here this is ABC so remember as I said a market makes a, a, an impulse correction and impulse so what are we expecting we're expecting an impulse we're expecting an impulse to take place so let's go down to daily you can see that clear so assuming you 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 identify this you identify this early and look at which we identified. Are you able to position yourself from, from any of this place? All this will be your profit, okay? Which is not over yet. All this will be your profit. So what are we expecting? What are we expecting from this market? We're expecting this to ride at least to so certain fib of this. We're expecting this to ride. So a certain fib, at least two seven. We're expecting this to ride to this. Now, before we learn, okay, whether it's gonna form the trace back or not. So, I believe you've learned something this evening. That anytime the market is, you can see the structure or the corrective structure, there you'll be able to position yourself for the next move. Now, looking at this smaller wave, you, you can still see, see clearly these corrective structures, these corrective structures here that are forming. That is the running flat. If you learn something this evening, this is running flat, okay? So that is how it goes. All right. So now, if let's look at, uh, if you go to the weekly, now what we do most times, once we identify the, a, 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 a structure, 
then you go to the lower time frame okay to take a trade we don't take a trade from the higher time frame if you identify a structure from the higher time frame you go to the lower time frame to take a trade so from that lower time frame we're able to identify okay should i take the trade now because the the, the reason is this if you are taking a, a trade for instance if i should be able to take this trade uh if you are calculating the pip maybe where you put your stop loss if it's in four hours and your account is depends on the the, the loss size you're using you know the loss size you're using if your account is not that much the capital is not that much and you are risking you'll be risking so much of your money so what i advise beginners you go to hourly time frame to take a trade early time frame to take a trade so that the loss size the the people you will be, you'll be risking to take that trade will not be much will not be much okay so that is it if i if uh, assuming i'm in this in this market or for instance this I, I remember this one vividly i was in this market here when i identified this one i was in this market and I took my trade here when it makes this move. That was on Monday, Monday morning. And that was it. It makes the impulse correction and we enjoy this ride. So, guys, this knowing the the structure of the market is, I mean, is is heaven on earth. You can't you can't see anything close to it. Trend line or support and resistance can't give you anything like this. Okay, it can't give you anything like this. Okay, so let, let's let's look at the crypto. Let's don't mind me. Let's look at the crypto. This is not a full analysis anyway. This is not a full analysis. Most times, I don't put all the if I put, I don't put too much label in my chart because it can cluster the whole thing and make you not to be seen the real market. Believe you me that it's not the labeling that moves the market. It's the structure that moves the market. So if you identify a structure, I've seen professional traders that don't even put any label because they are used to it. Now, this is cryptocurrency. This is Bitcoin. Okay, So you can see they have the, the, the this big move. That one is over. You have the this WX. Now, this X here is questionable because I don't see this X to be complete. Now, let's look at what's, what's, what's going on currently. What has it done in the past? Now, if there's one thing that is obvious here, that is obvious in this chart, is this, that this correction is not over yet. It's not over. Now, looking at this, this is a W, X, Y. Good. And nobody knows... If this move now, if this move starts retracing from this place, because you can see this, that was my tick profit. This, that's my tick profit because of this. When we, when it was here, I know that it's coming here. So, if it start retracing from this point, which is likely to be, which is likely to be, then that means we we go into a very long complex corrective structure in crypto in bitcoin because what we'll be expecting what i'll be expecting from there will be okay the market we 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 come down come up come down then move up again come down before it finally goes before it finally goes so that would be a very, very complex structure. But it might not really happen this way. It might not really happen this way, but something similar. Something, but in other way, in other way around, if the, the this market breaks this, which is if it breaks this trend, this, then totally it will be of different structure we'll be expecting. So there are many varieties in which this can formed okay so but if you're analyzing the charts just analyze it based on the simplest form which you can think of at that time the simplest form the simplest form so but as the market start developing 
Then you now see whether it's simple or it's complex. It's simple or it's complex. It's simple or it's complex. So that complexity is not anything strange. It's when you add the two simple patterns. For instance, if you're adding the zigzag and the flats or the running flat together, that makes it complex. Okay, so it's nothing, there's nothing new to it. Is when you're adding two. For instance, how okay, let me show you. Look at the exact typical example here. This is a complex structure. This is a complex structure. This is a complex structure. How do I know? Now, if this we are in, remember we are in weekly charts. Okay, let me go to daily so that we can see it clearly. Let's go to daily. Good. Let's go to daily so you can see it clearly now. Very, very complex structure. Okay, so You see this? This is A, B, C. Okay, this is A, B, C. You can see that arrow? That is A, B, C. It's a A, B, C. This is A. But you now see this one is another a B C. Let me use a different color. Let me use like white. A B C. This is another A B C. We did not go. Okay. So that is let's say B. And you can see another one. Let me use the same yellow. A B C. You see that? A B C. So you can see this is. A, B, C. Now, because this is not going, now we we'll label it W, X, Y. You can see W here. Let's put W here. Now you see another one, A, B, C, which is this, X. So once you start forming more than one, two, it becomes complex, okay? So that's why we say this one is a very complex structure. You see when it was, where it completed exactly. So. There are many WXY small, WXY big, and all that. So let it not confuse you. So when you have uh, multiples of ABC, ABC, you now form complex structure. You now come from, and inside of it, if you understand the, the principle, just make sure you understand the principle and follow the market as it develops. Follow the market as it develops. So the current situation of, the, of, of, of Bitcoin now is this. We are here, it's correcting. And looking at this corrective structure, let's let's dive in and see what is is telling us. Let's dive in and see what it's telling us. Okay. So this is corrective structure, it's still correcting. So what we're expecting here is the market is not the correction is not over yet. The correction is not over yet. Okay, it's not over. So we still expecting this to come here, go up, come here. Then when it actually breaks this trend, you now see up. It can come up here, complete this structure, still come down again. You know, nobody can tell whether it will be simple or complex, but the way I'm looking at it, it's gonna be complex. It's gonna be complex because of this, it's gonna be complex. So but what thing you, you are aware of is that the correction <coughs> the, the, the correction is not over yet. It's still going to be traced back. It's still going to be traced up. And how do you know when it ended? The, the best way you, you trade this is, number one, if you don't want to risk, if you're an investor, then you can position yourself from, from here. You can position yourself when it breaks from this region entirely. Or you position yourself using all that trend like the RSI, using it, we are using to measure the, the momentum or the MACD to measure when it's ended. But the truth of the matter is that this is still correction. It's still corrective nature that the market hasn't completed the, the movement here. All right. So uh, I believe you learned something today. Uh, if you want me to help you to analyze any charts, you can kindly Skype me. You know, my Skype is a neighbor or you, you, you WhatsApp me, okay? 
all my contact detail will be below this video. All right, so thank you so much for your time and uh, expect to talk to you next time. Have a wonderful day.